The military was on full ceremonial display in Nottingham, but Afghanistan was still fully on the mind. The idea that the West should have spoken to the Taliban years ago divides opinion between those who would never give them the time of day and others who think that, as a possible route to peace, it's frankly a bit of a no-brainer. The affection for the military hasn't been so strong for generations, but it is how they leave Afghanistan that they'll ultimately be judged by, even if that legacy is beyond their control, because that bit is up to the politicians. I think in order to have a sensible discussion, you have to have established some kind of status quo uh, on the battlefield. Uh, and I think uh, if we go back 10 years, uh, the Taliban were very much in the ascendancy. I think uh, we've restabilized Afghanistan. We've built an Afghan security force which is capable and competent. Uh, and, and that has put the government of Afghanistan in a strong position. The party line within the military and government is that now is not the time to judge. There is a job still to be done. To say, did we miss a trick, would be for the historians to judge. The fact is, we have been, the military has been there, deployed in there at the request as part of the International Security Assistance Force for over a decade, as part of a UN and a NATO mandate. And with many other nations, we have set the conditions for politics to play a part. In 18 months, most British troops will have left Afghanistan. Armed Forces Day has grown out of the conflict. It might well feel very different once it's over. It's a fantastic opportunity for the public to kind of thank serving personnel. And it's a great opportunity for me as a member of the serving sort of forces to really show what we can do as an Air Force and let the public see what we can do and also just to interact with them a little bit more. We don't get to do that on a regular basis. It's quite nice to meet the public a bit more. The Afghan conflict has galvanised in one sense. Just look at this. But don't be surprised if in the years to come, once American and British involvement has come to an end, many more people come out and criticise the strategy or say how they would have done it. Because General Carter was really just voicing frustrations that have built up over many years. If previous wars made celebrities of great leaders, bold generals or fantastic flying machines, then Afghanistan is surely the conflict of the ordinary soldier. Armed Forces Day is proof of that. Alistair Bunkle, Sky News, Nottingham.